ओके इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ आर लास्ट फोर्थ टॉपिक दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ टिश्यू इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग मेरिस्टिमेटिक टिश्यूज एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ टिश्यू दैट इज परमानेंट टिश्यू नाउ परमानेंट टिश्यू इज अगेन डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स दैट इज सिंपल टिश्यू एज वेल एज कॉम्प्लेक्स टिश्यू सो लेट स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट टाइप दैट इज सिंपल टिश्यू विच इज हैविंग अगेन फोर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टिश्यू दैट इज पैरेन कायमा कोलेन कायमा क्लोरेन कायमा एंड स्क्लेरेन कायमा सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द पैरेन कायमा पैरेन कायमा इज मोस्ट सिंपल एंड अनस्पेशलाइज प्रिमेटिव टिश्यू it mainly consist of thin walled cells which have intercellular spaces between them the cell wall is made up of cellulose or calcium packed and each cell has a prominent nucleus and vacuolate cytoplasm the cells are living and perform metabolic processes and there is a large central vacuole in each cell so look at the diagram it shows the structure of parenchymatous tissue they are the general purpose cells of plant and cells are reformed in shape and have uniformly thin walls found in all parts of the plant these are living at maturity have large vacuoles and these are found the location that is leaf stem that is pith root fruits etc so look at the cells the large central vacuole is present there the cell wall is thin uh, in between uh, cells there is a intercellular space is present there is a dense cytoplasm as well as nucleus is present so what is the function of parenchyma tissue first of all basic metabolic functions that is respiration photosynthesis Uh, protein synthesis everything happens in parenchyma as they are living cells secondly uh, storage is another function in potatoes fruits and seeds parenchyma is responsible of storage of food material and thirdly wood wound healing and regeneration or we can say it is the fundamental tissue it provides support storage to the plant as well as parenchyma is one type of cell forming the ground tissue and pith in the plants next one that is colon chyma tissue now see uh, the tissue which provide mechanical support for growing plants which consist of living cells and having nuclear cytoplasm and vacuoles are called as colon chyma cells and this tissue consists of living elongated cells with corners or intercellular spaces thicken with deposit of cellulose or pectin as shown in the diagram below there is uh, each uh, there is different types of colon chyma cells according to their thickening in between the cells the cells have unevenly thickened walls that is rectangular oblique or tapering ends and persistent protoplast the cell walls consist of cellulose and pectin and have high water content they are extensible and plastic the cells overlap and interlock forming fiber like strands in many plants colon chyma is a compact tissue lacking intercellular spaces some sometimes the types of colon chyma tissue contain chloroplast and tannins also look at the diagram here there are different types of colon chyma as according to their thickening on or deposition at the cell wall angular annular lamellar or lacunar in case of angular type uh, as in a leonurus no space no space in between the cell thickening at angles of the cell surface at particular angle there is a thickening look at here here at the particular angles there is a thickening of material in case of lamellar type as in helianthus 
द थिकनिंग फाउंड एट द टेंजेंशियल वॉल वेल इन केस ऑफ लैकिनर टाइप्स एज इन कैलेट्रोफिस सेल वॉल विथ इंटरसेल्युलर स्पेसिस इज फाउंड दिस कोलिन कायमा सेल्स इट ऑकर्स इन पेरीफेरियल रीजन इन द स्टेम एंड लिवस बिनीथ द इपिडर्मिस or may be separated from the epidermis by one or more layers of parenchyma in leaves it is present on both the sides of veins along with margin of the leaf blades cholenchyma may occur in cortex or cortex of root in peripheral region if root are exposed to the light so let's see what is the function of cholenchyma tissue Cholenchyma is mechanical tissue which gives support to the growing plants. Cholenchyma tissue gives considerable tensile strength with flexibility and plasticity to the organs like root and stem pla- stems. Plasticity of cholenchyma changes with the age and when it is chlorin chymatis it performs the function of photosynthesis that means when cholin chyma cell consist of a chloroplast these cells known as chlorin chyma and when they are chlorin chymatis they perform the function of photosynthesis as well as the thickened edge of cholin chyma wall increase the strength of tissue can carry out photosynthesis and can store starch food also so this is all about cholin chyma tissue next that is chlorin chyma when a parenchyma cell are exposed to light they develop chloroplast in them and such tissue is known as chlorin chyma or we can say a specialized parenchyma tissue found in green parts of the shoot and perform photosynthesis differentiate from parenchyma cells and are alive at maturity are called as chlorin chyma the main peculiar character that they uh, develop chloroplast within them and look green and uh, perform the function of photosynthesis the chlorin chyma possesses well developed aerating system intercellular spaces are abundant in the photosynthetic parenchyma or we can say chlorin chyma of the stem too so this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of chlorin chyma and the function of chlorin chyma first that is support and elasticity and secondly regeneration now the next type of simple tissue is sclerenchyma sclerenchyma cells which are non living and are lack protoplast at maturity have thick lignified secondary walls and provide strength and support in parts that have ceased elongation or mature or we can say this sclerenchyma tissue is a complex of thick walled cells whose principal function is to give mechanical strength to the plant organs it consists of thick walled and lignified dead cells it is composed of a very long narrow cells known as fibers and relatively short cells known as sclerides look at here fibers and sclerides the cells possesses lignified secondary cell walls and do not possess living protoplasm at maturity are sclerenchyma cells and the sclerides are thick walled dead cells of various shapes and roughly classified as follows look at the slide the classification of sclerenchyma cells it has two types sclerides and secondly fibers generally fibers are little bit long elongated uh, narrow cells 
and uh, relatively short cells of sclerenchyma are called as a scleride which are thick walled and dead cells now the sclerides are divided into different types as well as xylem uh, fibers also divided into different types sclerides are divided into brachiosclerides macrosclerides osteosclerides astrosclerides filiform sclerides and trachosclerides look at the diagrammatic representation given here first of all brachiosclerides uh, also known as stone cells they are short roughly isodiametric macrosclerides elongated rod like cells forming palisade like epidermal layer osteosclerite bone shaped uh, that is uh, columnar cells enlarge at the ends or uh, astrosclerites that is star shaped cells ramified to varied degrees filiform sclerites long slender cells resembling fibers and trachiosclerites that is branched thin walled sclerites resembling plant hairs again fibers are lignified or non lignified elongated cells and fibers are classified on the basis of nature and occurrence in the in the following times that is xylary fibers and extra xylary fibers xylary fibers are also known as wood fibers while extra xylary fibers are known as bast fibers where they uh, compose of phloem fibers cortical fibers or perivesicular fibers the fibers may be septate or non septate fibers differ from scleride in uh, different ways for example fibers are long cells with pointed end separate uh, septate or non septate but sclerides are short to conspicuous and elongated while uh, in fibers pitting is not cons conspicuous in the walls while in sclerides pitting is conspicuous in the walls in case of fibers fiber arise from meristematic cells while scler sclerides arise through secondary sclerosis of parenchyma cells now this uh, sclerenchyma occurs as mechanical tissue along the conducting strand and in the cortex of stem root fruit and seeds co seed coverings of the vascular fibers fiber occurs as a separate strand in the cortex and the phloem as a sheath or bundle cap associated with vascular bundle or in groups or scattered in xylem and the phloem for example in maize sugarcane or cucurbita as bundle sheath in hypodermis as long fibers in uh, linum nerium as a peripheral fibers in nicotiana clementis vitis as a fiber in secondary phloem and in agave as extra xylary cortical fibers in case of sclerides sclerides occur in cortex and the pith of gymnosperm and cotyledons arranged singly or in groups in xylem and phloem they remain integrated with fibers sclerides are common in fruits and seeds present in the form of solid layer forming hard covering or stony endocarp for example leguminous seed coat or stony uh, endocarp of mango coconut or coverings of nuts etc so together the scleride fibers forms the sclerenchyma and they perform a particular function in plant so what is the function this of uh, this sclerenchyma is supporting tissue which withstand various strains uh, which results from stretching and bending of plant organs without any damage to the thin wall cells fiber provides strength and rigidity to the various organs of the plant scleride forms hard protective covering on fruits and seeds so this is all uh, about simple tissue which uh, shows different four different kinds of tissues that is parenchyma cholenchyma chlorenchyma as well as sclerenchyma